Our work is entitled Influence of Follicle Rupture and Uterine Contractions on Intrauterine Insemination Outcome, a new predictive model. The purpose of our study was analyzing the relationship between two independent variables, follicle rupture and number of uterine contractions per minute, and the outcome of a double intrauterine insemination treatment. A follicle rupture was assessed immediately after the second insemination, while uterine contractions were assessed immediately after each of the two insemination procedures of a double intrauterine insemination. Which is the importance of our study? While IVF is widely studied technique, intrauterine insemination is a less known procedure. We know the negative impact of uterine contractions during the embryo transfer of an IVF cycle, but little is known about the influence of these contractions during the insemination procedure. In the same way, there are few published studies correlating the outcome of intrauterine insemination with the event of follicle rupture observed through ultrasound scanning which we have considered as a sign of ovulation. And our main findings, we have found that the number of uterine contractions per minute is positively correlated with the clinical pregnancy rate and the live birth rate after intrauterine insemination, but only when contractions are measured after the second insemination procedure. When the number of uterine contractions is higher, the clinical pregnancy and live birth rates are also higher in a significant manner. This makes sense since previous studies have described an increase in the frequency of ascending uterine contractions in the late follicular phase that would help in the transport of these sperm cells toward the fallopian tube. Uh, regarding follicle rupture, we have observed a significant increase of the clinical pregnancy and live birth rates when follicle rupture is detected. We have included these parameters in a predictive model together with other variables previously described to have an impact on intrauterine insemination outcome. We have developed several models considering different outcome variables. And what, what did we find? We have found that the following variables are independent predictors of the life birth rate after intrauterine insemination. Type of insemination treatment, donor versus homologous, maternal age, follicle count, number of uterine contractions per minute, and follicle rupture after the second insemination. And about future directions, our results point out the importance of some details that may be in underestimated in intrauterine insemination. On one side, it's very important to synchronize the days of insemination with the occurrence of follicle rupture in order to improve the outcome of the treatment, as already mentioned in previous studies. On the other hand, it would be interesting to go deep in the relationship between uterine contractions and intrauterine insemination outcome. It may be interesting to start a randomized control trial to evaluate the efficacy of a contraction-induced agent like oxytocin in the intrauterine technique. Thank you.